Kirsten Winkler for Fair Languages and today I'm going to take a quick test drive of the new Study Blue iPad app. After loading the app on your iPad, you can either join Study Blue or log in with your Study Blue account if you're already a registered user. You can either choose to use Facebook Connect like I did or set up an account with your email and a password. On the home screen, you will find your digital backpack that can be filled with flashcard sets, folders and classes. On the left side, you find the navigation. On the top right, you can add new cards or folders. When you click search, you can browse all the flashcard sets shared by the StudyBlue community and therefore freely available on the StudyBlue platform. I chose to search for some German flashcards. As you can see, with a broad search term like German, you'll get more results than the German language only. Study Blue search is contextual, which means you also get flashcards from history, arts, and so on. You can also see how many flashcards each set consists of and when it was created. I chose the first set with 100 German flashcards, and you can then choose to review the vocabulary you're about to learn. After that, you click on Flip to study the cards. At the end, you get your result and overall performance. If you want to create your own flashcards, you have three options in the new Study Blue iPad app. You can do it the classic way and type the term and its description. More interestingly is, of course, to take a picture of the term and then enter the description. In this case, I chose my digital camera. The third option is great for language learning, as you can also record the term. You could, for instance, ask your Spanish-speaking friend to record some vocabulary for you. When you are finished with adding new flashcards, you can save them and choose whether you want them to be public or private. And that was a quick demo of the Study Blue iPad app. So, after getting my hands on the new Study Blue iPad app, what are the results? Well, as I said, you have three types to uh, use the app. You can either, well, search in the portfolio and in the community for existing flashcards. But more interestingly, if you are into creating flashcards on your own, you can use the well traditional way of typing. You can take a picture or you can even use the inbuilt microphone and use voice. Then if you don't, own an iPad, uh, Study Blue also has an iPhone app with, uh, well, all the same features. I am pretty sure that um, they have an app for Android, and if you don't own any of uh, the devices mentioned, you can also go on studyblue.com and use the web version. Um, big plus is, of course, that the app is completely for free, um, and, um, well, the design is slick. Admittedly, you have to get used a little bit to the user interface, but that's pretty natural and um, I didn't use it for a very long time, so the user experience is fine, I'd say. I would definitely give it a thumbs up, so go on the App Store and download Study Blue's iPad app or iPhone app completely for free. This was my review of the product. I'm Kirsten Winkler for Fair Languages. You can find us on fairlanguages.com and of course also join us on Facebook, Twitter and Google+. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.